Okay, so uh, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, as part of our series of interviewing winners for the West Midlands PA Awards 2020, I'm delighted uh, to be joined today by Lisa Ford, who's team leader for Team B2 at PWC. Hi, Lisa. Hi there, Dan. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing? Yeah, good. I'm really good. Thank you. Fantastic. Now, I love this category because team... The word team to me, teamwork is just, is, is something that is just so important within a business to try and make everything work. And, and I know you've got quite a big team, haven't you, that all work virtually from different locations. Absolutely. There's, uh, in total, there's 12 of us. And like you say, we've always been virtual. And that that does bring its challenges, I must be honest. But yeah, we, we've it's the only way that we, we know. Um, and yeah absolutely brilliant team obviously yeah well, well take us just give us a little bit of background if you don't mind because obviously this is when when you when nominations opened in October 2019 mm. Covid hadn't even happened yeah. then and obviously yeah. all of this was based on 2019 so how does that work because I've been really interested over the years in the way that PwC has their their team the, the, the way that team they have on-site PAs, off-site yeah. PAs, virtual assistants, yeah. admin assistants. So do you actually did you have you always worked virtually together? Yeah, absolutely. So the team have always been, um, we used to be called VAs. We're actually known now as off-site PAs, so we don't use the term virtual assistant anymore. And we've all always worked from day one. We've we've worked at home with um, just a day in the office every couple of weeks. So although it took time to build relationships, and I think we, you know, we do things like elevensies, and we have weekly team meetings, albeit virtually. And then every other week we do well. We did do it face to face. Obviously, when we went into lockdown, it wasn't such a big impact for us. But then we weren't meeting at all face to face. So it, it, it did bring its challenges, but I must be honest, Dan, we, we kind of did extra things. So we'd have a catch up on a Monday as well as a Friday and then our team meeting. And then we'd have something like virtual drinks on a Friday. So we do stuff socially as well. And I think that's the good thing about the team and why we're so close is because we've always made the effort to get to know one another. We've always done the team building you know, albeit over Zoom or over Google Meet as we use, we've always made that effort to do that. So I suppose in that sense, yes, COVID's been challenging, but it was a little bit easier for us because yeah. we were used to it. So No, definitely. And I think that's, it's going to be, I suppose, unusual for you now planning on going back because absolutely. although you're still going to be virtually I bet you just can't wait to see each other again can you absolutely cannot wait and just just in general because we haven't seen each other now for over 12 months face to face um but also since winning the award that's the one thing that we've spoken about is to have that celebration you know we've done a few virtual uh, drinks to celebrate we did on the night we were all absolutely giddy um, but to actually get together face to face, honestly, we just we are counting the days. We really are. Absolutely. And, and please don't forget, we are definitely going to be arranging something for you all, because although we had such a great time virtually, there's nothing like being in a room, all the finalists there, the winners, so true. buzzing. And, you know, we want to relight that fire again. So yeah. we'll definitely be doing that. So. Wait. As a team leader, so have you have you worked at PwC for many years? Have you? Um, so I started in 2016, so I'm on to my fifth year now. Um, so not that long, really, compared to a lot of people. And I, I came in as a, as it was a virtual assistant, but offsite PA. And after nine months, I was asked to be team leader for a new team in Birmingham, which is the B2 team. Um, so yeah and I've been sort of team leader ever since of that team so um, and I love it I absolutely love it but I'm, I'm very lucky I've got a great team so. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you I mean I know since year one I mean going back four years ago PwC have always been incredibly supportive we've always had nominations we've always had people um, come into the night so how did you hear about the awards when you know last year yeah, so we, um, it's something that we, firstly, we decided as a team that we wanted to nominate ourselves because we did 
we rated ourselves as a really good team, really close team. But we'd heard previously, um, so when Paula Holland, um, she, she won an award and other people have been nominated like Kirsty and Julia, et cetera. So it was out there, it was very much out there and hearing all from, from yourself, having emails from yourself and on social media, seeing it. So I think awareness is really, is really massive. Um, but yeah, we, we decided actually, it was 2019, I keep losing my dates. I think with COVID, I've completely lost my dates. I don't know where I am, so. Um, but yeah, when we decided, you know, why, why shouldn't we go for it? Why shouldn't we put ourselves forward? Um, and we had some really good, yes, we did the nomination, but we had some really good backing from people um, and really good testimonials from people that believed in us as a team, which was fabulous. They definitely, and do you know what I love about this category in particular is because I think when you go to do a self-nomination and you're putting yourself forward, you we don't like to talk about ourselves and we find that really hard, but I can imagine in a team environment, it's actually a really good exercise to do mm -hmm. together because... Yeah. I mean, how did you do it? Did you um, did you send the application form round to everybody and get input from them or? It's something we actually talked about on one of our weekly team meetings. So we'd all seen that the nominations were open. We talked about it very loosely before, but during the team meeting, it, I'd put it on the agenda and it was like, okay, what do we think? And it was just the meetings that we have are very much an open forum. So it's not, you know, it's not team leader talks and everybody listens. It's not that it's very much about it's open. People, you know, have their say. And it was something we all wanted to do. And you're absolutely right. It was such a good opportunity. Actually, I've, I've got to give a shout out to Becky and Nikki, who actually took Project The Way to start with, to almost do a brain dump of everything that we've done over those last 12 months. And when we all got together again the following week and saw everything listed down, it was just mind blowing. And it, you, you do forget, don't you? You kind of think, oh, well, it's day to day work. It's what I do. It's what I'm employed to do. But when you see what we've achieved as a team, oh, it was it was amazing. It was I really can imagine. Yeah, for team morale. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's got to be it's got to be up there to kind of bring everybody together. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think, again, if you if you're close and you believe in yourself as a team or yourselves as a team, which we did, you know, when when Nikki and, and Becky were listing the stuff, it was stuff like we'd done charity work for schools. We'd gone and dug gardens out, vegetable patches for, for local schools. We've done beach cleans. We've done we've done so many. We've, we've uh, given food out to the homeless, but we've done it as a team. And, we, and it's, you know, it's ideas that we've all come up with together and talked about and batted around. Yeah. And again, I think that's why it works. You know. Fantastic. And I think it's only when you take stock, you know, when we were just talking then, you said the the years just blend together, especially mm -hmm. with COVID. But actually, yeah. when you take a step back and, and you know, you've got a team around you that can all contribute and say, oh, you know, did you know that we, I remember, do you remember when we did this? And yeah. that was great. And I really loved it when we did that. I think that just when you actually see it all on paper and you can actually list it all there is just, yeah. It's just, it just lifts the heart. So I it can does. imagine that's great. It does. It was a great, even, even if we hadn't continued with the application, which I'm glad we did, clearly, because we would. Um, but even if we hadn't, that was good exercise in itself, just to remember what we've done. So yeah, 100%. I recommend anybody to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So when, what was it like then when you found out that you'd been shortlisted? It was, I think, again, it was that, you know, we're just going to nominate ourselves because we believe in ourselves. And then we were shortlisted. And then it was like, oh, oh, wow. OK, so we, we are we do stand out. We are, you know, there's something about us that people are recognising. So that was incredible. That was a real special moment. And then you start to think, can we do this? Can we win? Can we actually win? But of course, we were up against some really great people. So we were up against a couple of other teams within PwC. Um, we were up against a virtual summit and we were up against team B4 as well. So it was like, oh, they, you know, they're great teams. Can we do it? Can we do it? So, yeah. And what was that like? What was that like between you? Like, because obviously you were all shortlisted. Yeah. You're all finalists. And we yeah. also you had internal PA network. Um, you were at the, the PWC Assistance Alliance was up there. Julie was up there. Yeah. Team leads. You know, there was lots of Depaul. There was lots of different people nominated. Yeah, so loads. what was that? 
what was that? That must have just been a, a burst. It, it really was. And we had, a, we had a chat room going on the night for all of us. And every time a, a, an award came up that somebody from PwC was nominated, it was like, here we go, here we go, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And I think that's the thing everybody recognises the strengths and, and the reason why other people were nominated as well. And we were all behind one another. So I think everybody had got everybody's back and, and people just wanted people to win because they felt they deserved it. So, you know, there were some really strong nominations, I have to say. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And I think what I'm really appreciative is, you know, PwC is such a large organisation, mm. have a lot of assistance in well, yeah. Birmingham office. I know yeah. that support the Birmingham office and nationally. And yeah. I think, you know, every year I love seeing an, an, a nomination or nominations coming in and I just think I think it's absolutely brilliant and I think for those people that are a team and you know we've gone through one hell of a year this year Gosh, yeah. and I think this category for me this year is one of the most that you know teams have have gone through so much change mm. you know unfortunately people might have been made redundant people have yeah. been on furlough people have been working people have had to be dealing with personal life yeah. the way or we've all been feeling with covid i just think this year this category yeah. really is an opportunity to bring people together Abs absolutely right and i'd really encourage any teams out there just just Get, you know get get nominating for people and get nominating for yourselves and and you're right I think it's it, it has actually brought people closer together and I know you know our team it is a really close team anyway but you know through this people have had personal challenges and you know whether it be in work whether it be out of work but it's 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 been an opportunity to even knit closer together um yeah it's it's been a tough old time hasn't it but definitely yeah. definitely a good opportunity for the teams so yeah so if, if, again if you were thinking as a team you know if you were sitting there as a team and thought oh you know let's go for this this year mm -hmm. what I know you mentioned some of the fantastic charitable work mm -hmm. that you've done. is there any other kind of examples that you can give of some of the things that you've done together as a team that people might think oh actually you know we've done that that's that's a good that's yeah a good I think it's that being inclusive is the main thing. That's the main thing that for me kind of stands out for a team. If you if you inclusive as a as a team leader, you know, listening to everybody, I think it's having a very open format with your team. But then it's understanding that people have got different things going on in their lives, so they can't always join different things. You know, not not everybody can join evening dues if they've got kids and stuff. So I think it's that understanding with your team. But I think it's it's also it's not just the stuff that we've done for charity. It's stuff that we do socially, you know, when, when we could it be meeting each other socially, whether it was if we're on an office day, it'd be like, should we go for a drink or should we go out for lunch or something? And that's really important. But also it's the, the being there for one another and it's that pastoral care for one another, um, yeah. listening, understanding and just caring. And I know that might sound a bit twee, but. Personally, I don't think people should ever, and even without COVID, you know, you should really care about the people you work with, especially when you're a team and you work so closely. Um, and I think that is, I'm slightly biased, I know, but I think that's something we do do really well. Yeah, I think, you know, it was clear that you all, I mean, it was so, all the teams that we had this year were really, you know, last year were so inspirational. Um, but to see all of, you know, the, the well-rounded things that you've done together as a team to support mm. the business. And as you say, you've got such a great, because you've got such a great engaged team, mm. that means that the performance just comes naturally, you know, because Absolutely. people, just, they love their job. They love the yeah. being part of the team and that's what they want to do. So, you know, we delivered the event virtually last year, which for me was like, I, I had to think about, do we do this? Do we postpone? We did. We chose to carry on because we we got halfway through the process really, yeah. and I just thought to myself, can we wait until July next year? That would have been nearly two years. Yeah. And then I thought to myself, no, let, let's crack on and let's let's do a really great virtual event. Um, have you been to the awards in real life? No, 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 no I haven't. Yeah. But the you know, so I've got nothing to compare the virtual one with. But I've got to say, Dan you all did a cracking job. It was absolutely brilliant. And we did all feel really important. 
and it was exciting and the build it was great and everything that you did around it and everything you've done since as well so honestly oh, thank you. Yeah. Really and you had you've had some great as a, as a team as well um you've had some great prizes and so you, you had a an exclusive gig with mr and mrs, mr. And mrs. gray yeah. that was amazing and the, the whole team joined that as well and so we had a few drinks with that so that was really lovely i think there's been a couple of things that are, are put on hold at the moment due to circumstances which is is understandable um but the teams have also recently attended um the pa forum um there was another one i think recently isn't there um i'm trying to think what it is yeah there was uh, so i think we've got um so some of the prizes that you got were um, We've got a, a dinner at about eight in Birmingham, yes, which you've got that's to come. So, yeah. Because there was quite a few prizes. You put them all into a... Uh, we did. We just, we just we did. We picked yeah. names out of a hat. So again, it was fair for everybody as well. And we tried to make sure that everybody got something. Yeah. But obviously when we all get together as well, that'll be a... Yeah, there was a um, gin tasting. There was... Um, Conf, conf, ticket to our conference this year there's been loads of different lots of, lots different, of different things and they seem to just endlessly come it was fabulous <laughs> it was yeah, it was the Christ, there was a christmas party with pat sharp there was yes. that as well <laughs> yeah so it's great and we're just again i'd like to just say a massive thank you to our suppliers and partners who have gifted those to us and, and we are going to have the day when we yes. can do, we can present this to you there it is amazing. <laughs> fabulous so we will Brilliant. be booking a venue um to be able to yeah. share this with you and um and also before we wrap up today uh, i just want to let you know lisa that you have been nominated this year for team leader of the year so congratulations oh my goodness me oh well, that's amazing <laughs> brilliant oh. So hopefully, so hopefully we'll get to see you in yeah. on the 5th of November when we, we, we're going out looking at venues tomorrow and we can't wait to just get cracking again. So oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. But we, oh, I just you. like so no congratulations. Thank I would just you. like to say again to you and your team and to everyone who's who's been part of the awards at PWC, thank you so much oh. for being part of our journey over the past four years. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, thank um, you, Dan, for everything you do. You make it happen. So well done, you. No worries. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Lisa. It's been an absolute More than pleasure. Welcome. Lovely to, to catch up. With you. No worries. All I'm right. going to catch up again soon. All, All right. right. Take, Take care. care. Thank you. Bye.